When we decided to start running travel programs a few years ago, we made an explicit decision to make them something other than trips. Authentic global thinking, we reasoned, requires more than just sightseeing. We really wanted to develop programs that were about who you are and your role in the world and your relationship to the rest of the world. I participated in the Kenya program this past summer. For a while, I knew that I wanted to do something in my high school with like going outside of my comfort zone and traveling outside of the country. We did intense community service work where we helped build a foundation for a classroom. We would do stuff like mixing cement and removing trees from the site. It was so incredibly rewarding. You benefit from being in that totally different culture and meeting all these people. If you're going on a service project, they give you the opportunity two weeks before spring break to just delve into that culture. We spent an hour every day doing Kiswahili. The students developed a, a sort of, just a, a working uh, knowledge of the language. It was really good for preparing you physically, I mean mentally. Actually, you could say physically because we did do some yoga classes. If you're going to a new place, research it and learn about it and get passionate about it. What we've really tried to do with our travel programs is really get students to not be intimidated by the complexity, but rather roll up their sleeves, dig in, get excited about it. And part of that is coming through global experience, but that's, that's also critical thinking. That's also coming through their regular history classes, their English classes. As students move through their Berkeley Carroll curriculum, they are bringing into the discussions examples from traveling to India, from traveling to Spain or Kenya. It's really shaping not just that discrete moment in time, but it's really shaping their overall concept of what it means to get an education and think about next steps, the future.